Hi, I'm Jason Mears and I'm a lead architect and a CTO ambas ambassador at VMware. Um, and this is a, a video that I recorded and, and forgot about, but I, I thought I uh, would post it again. It's basically some work I did on image classification as part of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Uh, and what I'm basically doing here is setting up three categories uh, on the right hand side. And I'm going to load these categories with some training data around uh, Santa or for the Christmas. So I've selected uh, a set of images. Uh, and I've and I've put them in two different folders. I've got a training set and a test set. And what I'm going to do now for each of these categories is I'm going to go into each folder. So I've got one for truck, and then I've got test and train. I'm going to select the training data, and I'm going to load this into this application. And this is going to train a machine learning model how to classify images. So I type a category, and then I select the images. And what I'm doing here is I'm I'm basically doing supervised learning using labels. And what I can then do is I can now go into a testing data set. So this is an image that it's never seen before. And based on the images it has seen before and it's trained, it's decided this image is probably a cat. So I can do that again. I can go for another image from uh, from here. So what I'm going to do is go into a different folder. I'm going to look at a piece of test data for Father Christmas or Santa. And it's correctly identified that this is most likely an image that's Santa Claus or Father Christmas. So I'll do it again, and this time I'm going to use uh, a picture of a truck. And again, it's important that this is test data that it's never seen before, but based on the training data, it's recognized some characteristics, and it thinks it knows what it is. So that was a very simple introduction. What I'm going to do now is, is create three more categories, and I'm going to pick three different types of car or vehicle made by the Ford Motor Company. So I'm going to use the Galaxy, the Mondeo, and the Puma. And again, I've got two sets of data. I've got some images that I've saved in a training folder. So what we'll do is we'll go into Galaxy Training. And I've got a few hundred images here, which are all pictures I'm going to use to train the model of what a Ford Galaxy looks like. And you'll see there's even pictures of the, the back of the car, what we would call the boot in the UK, or the steering wheel. Maybe you call it a trunk in the US. And we're going to load all these pictures in, and we're going to train this model to recognize what a Ford Galaxy looks like. So it's supervised learning because we're telling it and we're using a label to describe what it is that we're training. So this is going to carry on loading those images in. And for this particular one, I collected 184 images to use for training. And then I've also got another folder of images that I'm going to use for test um, to see if the model works. So I'm going to go into the Mondeo section and I'm going, I'm going to go into the training data. And this is going to load in, again, a couple of hundred images. And I'm going to train this AI and MI model to learn that these are the characteristics or the features of a Mondeo. So again, it's going to look through all of those uh, images and try and build an idea or what we would call weights or weighting on this model to try and to be able to classify a new picture of a car that it's never seen before into one of these categories. So again, the, the description for this is supervised learning, categorization, and I'm using labels or the description of a Galaxy, a Monday or a Puma to teach or to um, for the model to learn. So on to the last category now. So again, here's where I've got my images, my testing data and my training data for a Puma. So I'm going to select all of these images and tell it that these this is what a Ford Puma looks like. Now once we've loaded the images in and once it's learnt, I'm then going to start picking images from the test data and see if it correctly identifies what kind of car this is, even though it's never seen the picture before, because I have shown it enough similar pictures that it should be able to make an educated guess. So I've got 184 examples of a Ford Galaxy, I've got 439 examples of a Mondeo, and 276 examples of a Puma. Needs to be a reasonably sized data set. In the real world, this might be millions of images that you would actually use. So I'm going to go into my test folder for the Puma. I'm going to pick an image, and hopefully it will say, I think this is a Puma. And it has. It's set at the top, Puma, and it's highlighted the Puma column on the right, or the box on the right. Let's pick another picture of a Ford Puma. Again, at the top of the screen, it's predicted that, and it's also highlighted the red Puma box. So, so far, this model's doing well. I'll pick another picture, even though that's got camouflage on. It's actually identified it as a Puma. Maybe we'll just pick one more, so we'll do it from the side. Yes, again, it's classified an image it's never seen before as a Puma. So the Puma training model appears to work well. 
to try one more and again a new image pistol appears to have classified properly so now let's try a different data set let's pick a picture of a ford galaxy from our test data set again images that this model's never seen before and it correctly says that's a galaxy and highlighted the galaxy category so it's doing quite well let's try something like this a police vehicle with camouflage uh, with um, sorry markings so it's even identified one that's nothing like any other image you've seen from other characteristics it's even identified the the boot or the trunk um, or the back depending on which country you live in again identified the galaxy properly and identified the um, category so this model again is working pretty well it's picked up enough characteristics from the pictures we gave before to make an, uh, a, a correct identification so let's see how it does with the Mondeo it's worked well so far for the Puma the galaxy so again test data it's never seen before and it's successfully identified that as a Mondeo and picked the Mondeo category uh, again, some kind of camouflage or disguise on the car, but it's uh, identified it correctly. Same again, Mondeo, Mondeo category. So again, this model is working well. Correctly identified as a Mondeo and the Mondeo category. Uh, it can even do it from the steering wheel because I gave it pictures of the interior of the car and it's successfully identified that too. So again, from the side and the back, it's done a reasonable job there. But what I did notice when I was testing this or training this is there were some images that it really struggled with. You'll see some of those um, shortly. So again, it's done that one properly. Let's just pick a, you know, something slightly different here. So let's go for this. Okay, identified that one correctly. So you see it's identified this one incorrectly. It thinks it's a Ford Puma, even though it's a Mondeo. So I puzzled and struggled for, for why it had done this. And I, I wondered why particularly that picture it had got wrong. And then I looked at the sh what it was identifying. And it's the back of the car. It's the back of the car from a 45 degree angle. So it's looking at the headlights and the back of the car. They're the distinguishing features. So I thought, why is it identified that? Um as a puma what what is it that it's seen in the training data that makes it think maybe it's a puma so what what is it that i've shown it that it that it's kind of hooked onto or picked and i come to the assumption that it's probably this image this is the closest image it's ever seen where you have that headlight shape and that feature at the back so i think that's why it's decided that this was a puma not a mandale and if i try it again i pick something slightly different again this one here it does exactly the same thing wherever i show it that headlight and the back it misidentifies it and what i came to the conclusion is is that this is a bias in the data set and because humans prefer to take photographs of the front of cars and the side of cars more often than they take photographs of the rear of cars or the rear of cars at a 45 degree angle that bias from the human side of things is uh, unintentionally brought into the model so the human bias becomes an ml bias and that's why it's really important that the training data you use is representative of the real world